Hi, this is Charlie from Nexus. Um, following on from my one to five demonstration, I'm now going to move on to uh, P2P counts up, exploring numbers one to ten. Um, you know, the concept's much the same. We are now extending from five colours and five numbers uh, up to ten. And so we're now going to subitize our numbers one to ten. Uh, we are introducing our P2P count up board um, and some other elements uh, too. And this is now going to <coughs> Uh, broaden our horizons somewhat into what we can do uh, with, with, with showing and representing mathematical concepts. Eco-friendly bamboo, carbonised finish, uh, it's, just, it's just a lovely product uh, indeed. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you some elements of this, of this product here. So if I pull out my board here, I'll show you some of, just how diverse this is. Now, these are my one to 10 uh, rods and pegs, okay? And uh, this here is our, uh, our peg board. So this, of course, um, you know, by pushing our pegs into the holes, this is a resistance board. So the benefit of having this is that this holds the pegs in nice and tight. Um, and so we can do our, our, our building towers um, with this peg board. Um, but we're also gonna be working our fine motor skills, which is a really nice thing about why we have this board included. 100, printed 100 square. It's a really nice feature. Of course, this is our giant pegboard for pegs of paper, but for P2P count up, this is specially printed. So we have a 100 square board on here. Works beautifully with the pegs and the rods. As mentioned in the Montify video, our rods are, are printed coloured uh, on one side, and then of course they have a natural bamboo on the other side. So we can use, once we've subitized our numbers, understood that brown equals six, we can also challenge the child and turn that back over to just show the carbonized side. We have a printed 100 square blackboard um, grid on, on the board itself. And these rods fit beautifully into these spaces, into the squares. So we can use this in conjunction with this board. Using our chalky pastels, which are included in the set, we can write onto this 100 square grid any, any permutations we'd like. That, you know, it's just a blank canvas, we can use it as we please. So of course, making it very, very diverse. We have um, a coordinate system. We can you know, place the pegs in, like so, use it in this, in this fashion. So for example, we can show um, you know, two, two blue pegs here, and we find our two blue rod, and we can allocate um, so on and so forth. Perfect for coordinates, which we can obviously use with our um, peg board, because uh, that has a 100 square grid as well. We can lay, lay, lay this in here. With this gridded space here, our pieces will fit beautifully in the space so that we can see that four and six makes 10. Of course, for the EYFS, um, we need to count to one to 20, that's in the, that's in the curriculum. So of course, um, the, the, the benefit of having uh, a depth of 20 mil and having 10 mil pieces, um, 10 mil deep pieces, is that we can tower up two layers of 10 to make 20. So once children understand their number bonds to 10, they can easily learn that if that makes 10, if I have a three on top, that's going to be 13. And by now I'm going to understand that there's probably seven missing because I've understood my subitizing and my number bonds of 10. Right, so we have a blank space here now, which we can obviously use with our chalky pastels again. And um, you know, use this as any, for any application we'd like uh, whatsoever. We have our blackboard strips. Now, of course, these can be used for the coordinates. We can label this one to 10. We can also do quite a nice activity with these on the side of the board. We can put an arrangement of different rods. And we can say, okay, if I place this rod here, what's the missing piece? So children have to find it. And it's challenging their sabotaging and their number bonds. Um, particularly when we take away the colour, so it's making that um, uh, making that quite a challenging activity. But there's just so many uses for this board. Again, just like one to five, we have our blackboard tiles, um, and of course these can be used on the outsides. Um, we can use these on the pegs too, just like I've shown before. So we can label um, our numbers, just like I was showing you one to five. We can do addition and subtraction, of course. Um, so 2 plus 1 equals 3, and of course all the way up to 10, and obviously 3 minus 1 equals 2. But also this can e easily represent our fractions, like I was saying, so we can label that as a 2, and that is a 3, and we write on with our chalky pastels. And that is a very, very clear representation of a fraction. So we see there 
two over three. There's also one other feature that I'd like to um, talk to you about is that we can stack our pegs into the corners, like so. And this means that we can continue our pegs up. And so we can then stack our boards on top of each other because this works in all four corners. So it's fantastic for storage. We can put our pots and pegs into the centre um, and per set and have a really nice storage unit uh, at the side of the classroom. There's rubber feet on the bottoms of here as well to protect our board and so that it doesn't slip as well. It's just so open-ended. And we have 25 work cards that come in with the set, just like one to five, detailing all kinds of um, activities you can do. Furthermore, on the QR code, which is included on the one to five cards, there you can scan that. Not only do you have a digital version of your cards, which you can print as many times as you like, you also will have detailed lesson planning and instructions per section of the work cards, so that um, it's, it, it's very, very clear how to use this resource, and it's an ever-expanding um, uh, educational resource. So <clears throat> we're working very, very closely with um, a lead school improvement advisor, Christina Wood, um, and uh, for mathematics, that is, and she's been very, very helpful with us for the whole process, and um, she's helping us with lots of the support material, and we're going to be adding more and more content to that QR code. That's Peter B. Count Up 1 to 10. So thanks very much for listening, and uh, all the best.